So we're looking at arithmetic series again. This time we're going to have a result of a quadratic that we're going to have to deal with. Um, this first part of this question, though, no quadratics. It's going to be relatively straightforward. I wanted to show it to you, though, because I want to show you like an application, even if it is a bit silly. here. A staircase is designed so that the height of each step increases by 0 0.8. Uh, the height of the first step is 15 centimeters. So first step, 15 centimeters. Second step, 15.8 centimetres. Next step, 16.6 centimetres, and so on. Calculate the height of the first seven steps. All right, so let's use, uh, this is clearly an arithmetic um, series. If we add all of those values together, we'll have the height of the first seven steps. So we're using our series formula here. The sum of the first seven steps is equal to 7 over 2. Bracket 2 times the first step, 15 centimetres, plus n minus 1, 7 minus 1 is 6, 6 times 0 0.8, the common difference between steps. Calculate it. 121.8 centimetres. Now, given it's only 7 steps, you can check this by just like typing them all into your calculator and seeing what it looks like. All right, the next question I'm going to ask is where our video really starts. So we want to determine the number of steps to reach 3 metres in height. So we need to determine an n value to get a total sum, because remember we're going to add the heights of all of these steps together, a total sum of 3 metres. Okay, first thing to note is we've been working in centimetres the whole time, so we don't want 3 metres, we want 300 centimetres. Uh, let's start working here. Sum to 300 is equal to, so we've got this n on the top, which we don't know, that's the thing we're trying to find. And then we've got uh, 2 times the first value, which is 15, plus, and then we get an n minus 1. Okay, we don't know the n, we don't know the n. This is where our quadratic is going to appear, because we've got these two n's here, and they're going to behave in different ways. Uh, and then we have a common difference, a common difference of 0 0.8 centimetres. Uh, so 0 0.8 goes there. Okay, now, we just need to tidy this up a little bit. We get n over 2, bracket, 2 times 15 is obviously 30, plus, I'm going to do n times 0 0.8, so that's 0 0.8n, and negative 1 times 0 0.8, and that's negative 0 0.8. All right, now, I'm going to do two things here. One, that 0 0.8 and that 30, they're just numbers, so we can bring those together. So we get n over 2, bracket, uh, 29.2 plus 0.8 n and then we can expand these brackets by multiplying this by n over 2 and this by n over 2. Now this first one n times that is 29.2 n but then dividing by 2 we get 14.6 so we get 14.6 n and then this next one here um, n times n will be n squared and 0 0.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.4 and now I have 300 equals 14.6n plus 0.4n squared. Now, we need to know what n is. That's a quadratic, so we need to solve that quadratic somehow. Uh, I'm going to rearrange it uh, to get everything on one side. Now, from here, you can use any tool at your disposal to solve this quadratic formula. Maybe you know how to complete the square. Maybe you want to solve it using the quadratic formula. It doesn't look very neat, so I don't want to try to factorize it. Um, you could also graph it, particularly if you've got a graphics calculator available to you. Just type y equals all of this stuff into your calculator. And check to see where it cuts the x-axis. And you're probably going to get two n solutions here. And when I sketch it on my graphics calculator, I get two answers. Negative 51.16 and 14.65. Remember, we're looking for the number of steps. So... Um, we can say solve using GC, and we get two answers, n equals negative 51.16 or 14.65, and of course we're going to reject the negative answer for obvious reasons, positive steps, we can write that down there. So our answer is 14.65, but... Obviously, we can't have half of a step, so we're going to have to round that up. Therefore, 15 steps required to make it up to that 3 meter height.
there is our solution. All right, a little bit of work there, but it's stuff that we've done before. Use your calculator to help you out once you get far enough down there.